it's been a while, but let's get started with part two. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. Hey everyone, Duncan here from Enudocs and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to look into the second part of making our music bot. And to get started with our music bot, we will need to install Lava Player. As we will use Lava Player to send the audio from YouTube to Discord. To install Lava Player, we will just go to their GitHub and copy this implementation thing. And we're gonna paste that in our build.gradle. And then we need the latest version, which is at the time of recording 1.3.50. It's always a good idea to go with a newer version if that is available, because YouTube tends to break stuff. So we're going to enter our version 1.3.50 and I'm just going to clean this up to make it look a bit nicer. Now that Lava Player is imported, we can make a new package in our root package. And that package is going to be called Lava Player. In this package, we will need to make a few classes and each class will get its own episode. So today we will start with the first class, then the next episode we will do the second class and so on until we get all about four or five classes done and then we will combine them together. So let's get started with the first class and that first class is our track scheduler. And this track scheduler class will allow us to keep track of what tracks we need to play. It will also automatically start a new track when the previous track ended. But to get started with this, we will need to make this class extend something. This class will need to extend the audio event adapter. And this class gives us access to all the events from Lava Player. And the event that we will need to use here is the on track end method and this on track end method will get called when the currently playing track ends to get started with using the on track end event we will just start typing on track end and let our uh, and let our ide auto complete it for us this on track end has a special thing called the audio track end reason and from this end reason we can check if we may start next and if this is true it means that we can't start the next track so we will just call next track but as you can see it will turn red and it means that we do not have this method yet so let's create this next track method public void next track and what will we need to do? Well, well, we need to have an audio player. So that's probably this dot player for the audio player. And we need to start a uh, track. And where will we need to track? And where will we get the track from? We will probably get it from a queue. So this dot queue dot poll and poll is a method on the on the java queue system that will pull the first item that's currently on top and remove it from it as well so let's add the audio player and the queue to this class private final audio player player if i can type this correctly audio player there you go now i have the player and we need the queue, which is a private final blocking queue full of audio tracks. And this is called the queue. Let's make sure to import everything. And as you can see, now we can also see what these methods do. And you may, al and you may also see that it may return null. Well, that's fine. Because Star Trek... Uh, 
allows passing null, which will stop the current track. You may also see that we have this no interrupt boolean here, which is to start the track only if nothing else is playing. Well, we also want to use the next track method for skipping tracks. So we're just going to set that to false in here. Next up, we can make a constructor with only the audio player. And we're setting this.q to a new linked blocking queue. But somehow we will also need to know how to add tracks to this queue. For that, we will just create a public void queue method. And this method will take in an audio track. And here comes the magic. The start track method returns true if a track was started. So what we can do is if not this does player dot start track and we said no interrupt to true meaning that if a track is already playing start track may not stop the track and play this track and will return false and if it is false we will invert it to make true so only if no track is started we can just say this dot queue.offer track and we're doing this to make sure that we don't add the track to the queue after we're already playing it and that was it for this first episode of the lava player audio series if you liked it make sure to leave a like subscribe and ring that bell if you haven't already so you will be notified when we start on the next part of this project and i will thank you for watching and i will see you next time Goodbye.